CBS Sports leaks the script of the in-season tournament. They leaked the storylines of the in-season tournament. So it says Pacers versus Lakers in-season tournament finals prediction. Odds, TV channel, live stream, how to watch online. The NBA's first ever in-season tournament is nearing its end. The Indiana Pacers and Los Angeles Lakers secured semifinal wins on Thursday and are set to meet on the final stage this weekend. The final stage. Because that's exactly what it is. It's sports theater. We got LeBron James versus Tyrese the Singer. Tyrese Halliburton on a grand stage. I'm pretty sure they're going to have a lot of the elite superstars in attendance. LeBron is the lead character. It's the almighty Le Steroid. Le Batman. Le Superman. Le Hercules. Le Hercules. Le Hercules. They told you this is David versus Goliath. The league was hoping to add intrigue to the regular season, and that goal has appeared to be reached. Now we'll wait to see if the last two teams standing can end the competition with a bang. Now here's the news that you've all been waiting to see, ladies and, ladies gentlemen. and gentlemen. Here goes the storylines. Nobody expected a Pacers squad that missed the postseason last year to be here. Nobody even cared to think about that because it's basically still the regular season. That's how us regular basketball fans look at this. It's just a regular season game. It's not the playoffs. And they're trying to make it comparable to the playoffs. This is how much they've dumbed down the fans. It has gotten to the point that the RBA, my manipulation tactics, is at an all-time high. They've convinced fans, so-called basketball fans, that LeBron James winning an end-season tournament. It solidifies him on the top five greatest of all time list. I'm actually seeing it happen in real time. Like, you think this makes LeBron James? Was great. Let this head have been Kobe Bryant or any other player. It wouldn't have had no significance at all. You know how much they would have bashed Kobe, bro? They would have attacked that man. He would have got so much backlash. We're seeing people cheer on the cheating. They would have killed Kobe Bryant in the media, bro. So he's supposed to be in the conversation for the greatest of all time. Winning a regular season championship. That's the bar. You set the bar that low, Kobe Bryant. I can hear it now. Tyrese Halliburton led unit toppled powerhouses like the Bulls. Boston Celtics and the Milwaukee Bucks. Thanks to his electric playmaking, Halliburton wants to make a statement and bring big names to a team lacking superstar power. If LeBron James couldn't bring superstars to the Cleveland Cavaliers, then what leads you to believe that any player is going to say, I want to pack up my bags and move to Indiana and play with Tyrese Halliburton? Because rest assure you that if LeBron James would have got talent at Cleveland, he would have never went to Los Angeles. If they would have traded for Paul George, you think that LeBron James would have left and went to the Lakers? If Kyrie Irving would have came back, or if the Cleveland Cavaliers, let's say, let's say if they would have landed Kawhi Leonard, do you think that LeBron James still goes to Los Angeles? The Pacers have no NBA championships and last made the NBA Finals in 2000, knocking off a team with two-time greats to secure hardware could be huge for a state that loves basketball so much. They're pretending as if this is just as important as the NBA Finals. The Lakers fans have expected to contend for a title every year, as they should. You can't establish a brand and your selling point of the brand, one of your marketing tools to promote your brand is championships. That's the allure. But then when the expectations is championship and they want a real championship and not a bubble title, it's a problem. Then the fans are spoiled. You want to spoil the fans, they get mad when the fans act spoiled. But they said Laker fans have expected to contend for a title every year since James arrived in California, while Los Angeles fell short to the eventual champions in last year's NBA playoffs. They now have a chance to make history by becoming the first ever in-season tournament winners. You call this making history? Making history is overcoming difficult obstacles, creating legendary moments, memorable moments it was an easy path for this man and that's exactly what he's doing making history manufacturing the history they made the history themselves they wrote it 
They scripted it. LeBron James overcoming being down 3-1. It was all orchestrated. It was done by design. The bubble title going to 10 straight finals. It's all manufactured. How could you be proud of that? The Lakers have long been one of the league's most storied franchise, and LeBron James could add another special layer to his legacy by powering his team to victory prediction. While the Pacers have beaten, you ain't even got to write all that. Just get right to the point, because we know what you want to say. The Lakers are going to win. The level of favoritism is insane. Could you imagine if Kobe Bryant or Michael Jordan was, was fighting for an in-season tournament? It's gotten to the point where they can't break no other records. There's no other records to be broken that nobody care about. So LeBron James done broke the all-time scoring list. That's not enough for him. LeBron James loves to control the narrative. So it's not about just playing with his son and staying around for a few more years. He's trying to find a new way to enhance his legacy. At some point, you retire and you allow the game to move on. But the game is digressing. The entire RBA revolves around LeBron James. No other player. This end-season tournament was created solely for LeBron James. Now, LeBron James loves to play possum. He acts as if he had no clue, as if he had no involvement with this end-season tournament, saying the politically correct answers. So, LeBron James, you're going to keep taking charges? Oh, for $500,000, I'm not. That's like a spit in the face to the league to utter some words like that. The bronze sexuals have been trying to convince us that these incentives is what's going to drive the players to play harder. They have something on the line to fight for. But when their league turn is telling you, I'm not doing that for five for a measly old $500,000, that's it. And you expected for me to go out here and to keep taking these charges, actually playing defense, competing? His fans are so delusional. They are literally insulting your intelligence. So that just go to show you the money was never the primary focus. The primary focus was making sure that LeBron James is to be able to add another title. It's for them to be able to alter the game so it can enhance his legacy. It's called manipulating the game. 